Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later over there for some more Jeskai Storm Conduit. We had fun playing this deck a few days ago uh, where we played it at the end of the stream, only had time to play three matches, uh, but won them all and, uh, you know, our deck felt pretty good. And so I wanted to run it back, you know, where we get to actually play through five matches in ranked with the deck. So that's what we're going to do here today. I did decide to change uh, one small thing I took out from the sideboard, keeping the same main deck. Sideboard, I took out the Narset's Reversal and the Ugin. Uh, basically, both of those cards were for, like, other control decks uh, for the most part. But honestly, there's just too, like, there's too many cards for, like, other control decks. Like, as I found out, like, while I was sideboarding the last time, is I just didn't really have room to, to be bringing in the Ugin the extra Ugin and the Narset's Reversal and everything. So instead, I'm putting in a couple of Lyra Dawnbringers here because I felt like I needed an, another uh, another clock against Mono Red. Even though we were victorious against Mono Red before, we were pretty fortunate, um, and I think we needed something else that uh, helps end the game a little faster so our opponent can't just sit there for a while and draw more burn spells. So uh, I think that is a good upgrade to have those in the deck. Um, at least instead of some cards that were just marginally better than other options we had, but wasn't really worth the sideboard slot, where Lyra is going to be a big upgrade in, against uh, Mono Red. So there we go. Uh, let's go ahead and get to the game. So it, I, this deck is this is a, a combo deck. Like so, basically we're a control deck that usually wins the games with Explosion in the late game um, by just dealing dealing 20 damage with Explosion, honestly. Uh, that happens easiest with Ral in play, where uh, Ral can just ping the opponent after we just cast a whole bunch of spells just throughout the game with that static ability, but then also can minus two and copy um, an Explosion for like seven or eight to uh, do another seven or eight and finish off the opponents. But we can sometimes get the double expansion infinite combo and get some like turn five kills uh, if we have two expansions and a and a cheap spell after playing a row. Happens sometimes, not very often, but happens sometimes. Um, and we can also use Sarkin to make our planeswalkers some four fours and kill our opponent that way. But basically, wanted to make a control deck with Deafening Clarion, because Deafening Clarion is so good with all these Nissas and mana creatures running around everywhere. And that's what we got. All right, let's give it a, tr give it a try. So like I always say, whenever we're playing these decks in ranked, uh, we're trying to go three and two. Uh, the ranked matches are are tough and going three and two at 60 percent that's that's quite strong so that's the goal you know if we do better than that can only get better oh i didn't change my avatar need to do that um niv mizzet is is not too good these days with all of these planeswalker like all the mid-range and control decks are playing a bunch of planeswalkers that are good against niv mizzet it's not like everybody's just playing. Um, <clears throat> it's not like everybody's just playing like instants and sorceries. So I'm not I'm not a very big fan of Niv Mizzet right now in this metagame. White mana? Dang. I mean, I guess so. I'm not going to do anything else this turn. This just puts another card in my graveyard for Azkanta. So, you know, instead of just putting that down to the bottom and taking a random card, um... We still got to see that random card, and then, you know, we actually got to even dig one more card and also put a card in the graveyard. Well, 
Well, Tristani on its own, just being a 1-4 isn't the scariest. If you show remorse, I'll show restraint. Let's try this. Hmm. <clears throat> Teferi or Ral? Teferi or Ral? I guess it's Teferi. The good, like the good thing that Ral does is, you know, like that ability can deal one damage to Planeswalkers every time I cast a spell. Um, and so it it does a good job of like pinging off these Planeswalkers. Here we go. I won't let you win. Tick up to fairy shock. So I'm guessing they have like finale of glory. Do they want to instant speed that thing? Maybe we get three two twos. Yep. Odds of victory look good. So I can minus two Ral to like kill the Teferi. I don't think it's worth it. Hold still. Okay, they got the three two twos, as expected. No, Sir Tails, I never did see that movie. This might be a bad so idea. So assuming Teferi's gonna die. This is hardly my worst defeat. Yeah, I saw it in game. Hey Jeff. Thanks for that resub. Sub number seven on the day. Okay, so we're going to Now we're gonna minus. I am judge, jury, and electrocutioner. Copy this. One here. Hype boats around. And 600 at the wheels joining in. Getting more hype boats in here. Alright, one there, one there. I won't rain on your parade. Have another finale? Known for my excellent timing. Trust me, I have a plan. Let's slow this down. This might be a bad idea. Blair. Defeat. All right, let's see if we can find another Clarion. That's what we're trying to do right now. Um. Hmm.
Okay. Well, I can stay alive next turn through this. Well, not so much anymore. Now we need to draw that Clarion. Clarion. Dang. No, that's got me. And those instant speed finales were really good. All right, let's get cleansing novas in here. Um, and this extra clarion. What else do I want to do? Thanks, Godzilla. Thanks for that sub there. I really do appreciate that support. Second month in a row for you. Thank you. Um... Get rid of Blink. Get rid of Narset. Nah, Sarkin. Yeah, Sarkin's gonna go. Sarkin and one Narset. I kind of want to, yeah, I kind of want to play more coils. I'm going to trim one expansion uh, with them having like the Teferis and everything. I'm going to trim one of those for a, te for a big Teferi. I don't want to play more coils, but I. But with having like more sweepers and everything, I'm just not not going with it. Um, Coil, of course, is going to be good against uh, Shalai and Tristani, so maybe I need more for that. But then we also have the Cleansing Novas in here now. Need land. No, I, I, no, I don't think they. Well, like, you can cut opt, but I, I don't think there's any. Basically, I don't want to, but that is an option. But I think that's more of an option against like the, the slower decks. You're not, I don't know. I d don't want to be cutting any ops. I can no longer stand by. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. That didn't go according to plan. This isn't a fight you can win. Don't worry, I got this. For land or sweepers. I'm really into current affairs. Sweeper. Get it? Because current electricity. <laughs> Never mind. I 
Maybe I should just ditch that and just really look for land. I do need land really bad. There's a storm coming your way. All right, we'll be able to get this uh, as Kanta in play here. That's more like it. So many cards. Sorry, I'm late. I'll protect you. Bleh. I mean, Ralph pings off that to fairy pretty easily. All I have to do is just cast an instant or sorcery, but um, which means I need to cast a Clarion. So I guess we're gonna Clarion away these things. Let's try this. Good. Drew the land. I am really into current affairs. Get it? Because current electricity. All right, five cards in the library, not flipping, or five cards in the graveyard, not flipping Ascanta immediately. All right, welcome back, Storm. Through this land, we are all connected. Nice, Rex. Post a five-color Niv deck for the Singleton event in the Discord. It's pretty sweet. I'm seven and one. Only lost was to a top deck shock after stabilizing. Yeah, that sounds awesome, Rex. Cool. Thanks for posting that there in the no Discord games. channel. If there's any of y'all that aren't uh, joined with the Discord channel, that is, you know, for everybody. It's free. You know, everybody can join, not just subscribers. Um, that's where I make all, all like my any announcements I have about the stream or anything. Uh, they all go there. I've got time. Feet have got no rhythm. It's this turn. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I make it rain just for fun. All right, so planning on, I guess I'm going to just Clarion and copy Clarion with expansion so I can Gosh, the fairy's so annoying. Oh. I know what? my responsibility. I was clicking okay to like let the route trigger resolve, not like the whole rest of the spell resolve. I still want to expansion. Didn't I just click okay once? 
Did I click OK twice? What is going on there? Rise, my elemental friend. I just want I was just gonna let the route trigger resolve and then expansion. Trust me, I have a plan. Well, obviously Teferi was on the stack. Yeah. Teferi's on the stack. I, I still should have been able to respond to the Teferi on the stack, like with the expansion. And the the Deafening Clarion was on the stack. So because it was it was Teferi and then Clarion and then like Teferi was not in play. For the people that think that the, the Teferi stopped me, it wasn't I'm in play yet. Because the Teferi was on the stack and then lose. Clarion. And then trigger, and I let the trigger happen, but then it just immediately let the Clarion happen instead of letting me expansion the Clarion. Yeah, I only clicked once. Yeah. So I I don't know why it didn't let me do that. Expansion's different. It does let you. It does usually let you respond with expansion to your own spell, without full control. No, I am not making this up as I go. I don't. I don't know how I'm going to beat this Nissa right now. You don't. You don't need full control with expansion. Or the people are saying you need full control. That's that's not how it usually is with expansion. It just didn't let me do it that time for some reason. That's that's eighteen right there. That's just lethal. Bleh. Oh no, yeah, that was 17, I guess. Yeah, so that was, never mind, that was 17, not 18. Whatever, we were still just gonna die to the Nissa of the next turn. I couldn't, I couldn't keep the Nissa of the next turn from killing me. Yeah, it's 17, then I go to one, but then Nissa just activates again. So that's why it's lethal. I can't, there's nothing I can draw that stops the Nissa from activating again the next turn with the mana I had, even if I Cleansing Nova. Hey, what's up, Seed of Axe? Bleh. Oh no, I didn't change my avatar again. I forgot to change my avatar. Yeah, the the win con is expansion explosion. The the main win con. Either mode, either expansion with RAL or just ex using explosion. Either either way. No, I like I like drafting and Gron, but I have a lot more viewers whenever I play constructed, so I just so I stopped streaming draft because it was always uh, a lot lower viewership. Drafting is something that's a lot more fun to do than to watch um, in general.
when you're watching Constructed, you can you can be learning things that uh, will help apply to uh, yourself, like playing. Uh, you know, if you're playing like the same deck or and or playing against the deck, and or just like playing against like whatever the opponent's playing, like same kind of thing, or playing whatever the opponent's playing, all that kind of stuff. Limited. There's not really a lot like that that you can really learn. Uh, necessarily like you can kind of learn some stuff about individual cards but you're not going to have like the exact same deck with the same experience and all that kind of stuff Ooh, a battle. I'm all tingly. so it's more safe in storms are like a symphony it's more yeah, safe to shock the phoenix before like playing like the ral or whatever just or ha like maybe just going narset plus shock here was like the safest thing but I was just going for it. And it looks like they went Crackling Drake. So we got this. That tickled. All right. Um, I've always full controlled this before, but I've told you I don't need to full control it necessarily. Oh, let's get this land in. But we got the combo. Let's go ahead and full control it, though. Yeah, I'm just especially after like what happened that last game, I'm just going to full control it just to be safe. All right, we just keep copying the expansion over and over and over again. And uh, the RAL triggers uh, each time that we do it, and their life total just will continue to go down. One at a time. All right, I don't think I need full control anymore. Once you get started. <laughs> yeah, that was about as far as I've ever had to actually play out that combo before the opponent scooping it up. So, Drake's. Let's get bindings in. Definitely want this Narset and definitely these coils. We'll take out the Clarions. We'll bring in the Novas. Dawnbringer can block. Um, Dovin's Veto does something. Probably. All right. We'll take out... Take out Teferi. Hmm. Alright, what are these fives am I not playing? Am I just maybe I'm just not playing Dawnbringer. Actually. Definitely don't want Sarkin. But I, I do want Nova and Teferi. And I want these. Um So this is sixty six, so I think Time Raveler. I mean Time Raveler and Vito are basically the only things to go here. So I guess we're going to go 2-2. Two, two. You think Dawnbringer is better than Nova? With us seeing Enigma Drake and Crackling Drake, I think it's good to be able to have Nova against those things. Like we're a dive down... I think I want Veto more than where a dive down like kills my Lyra.
This is definitely a really important card to have in our set. Because of all these things that our, our opponent plays. However, protecting Narset can be a challenge. This could be Spell Pierce. I could cut Shocks. I could have. I could have gone down on Shocks. I know 88 ways to defeat you. Pick one. I think activating Narset is a mistake against, like, uh, just a Phoenix. Like, a, you know, a potential, I guess it's not necessarily, but a potential Phoenix that can come down there. I just want three mana. You can't draw multiple cards a turn. Oh, I should I should have played the Escanta and just put the Escanta in, in the over here. Well, no, maybe not. I actually kind of like having expansion. They play a charter. Why would they play a charter course? It's an set out there. Think you can beat me? You're welcome to try. Better watch out. There's a storm. Probably better that I didn't play Ascanta, even though mine will flip one turn later. Um, after it flips, being able to have the other Ascanta is going to be really nice because of how the game will probably go later. And that's why I don't minus the Narset because it just dies. We're at five. So that's six. Yeah, I kind of miss Sweltering Suns, too. I miss Jaya Ballard, Tick Up, and then 3 damage Sweeper. You know, add 3 red mana, 3 damage Sweeper. Bleh. Pretty good card. Yeah, we just gotta flip Escanta. But you know, it's the reason why that's a good card is because the explosion part. Because you know, after flipping Escanta, as you can tell, we got a lot more lands, and then the the explosion part will be, you know, like right now it's like draw three. And if we get another land out here, draw four. You know, Starts being draw a lot of cards. So they're just playing just scry one there. Oh man, anger of the gods, that's where it's at. Yeah, that's where it was at. Mind and body should move in unison. Like wind and wave.
Hmm. Teferi or Ral? They're both good. I'm going to go with Ral because Ral means that if we hit this land drop here, we can play it and activate as Kanta. Where Teferi, we wouldn't be able to play it and, and activate as Kanta. Oh. Huh. I guess not, not that land drop, I guess. Alright, well, I just want to activate as Kanta. <laughs> Crackling Drake. That's a big Drake. Heretic Man, welcome to the channel. Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. Gets us to our first sub goal already. More coils. Oh, whoops. 20. All right, so we we'll cracking a pack after this. Yes, I would like the land. No, I would not like to do whatever you're asking me to do there. Yeah, I missed the Dreadhorde's climb. It's uh, up on YouTube already, actually. I'm gonna hover over you like a dark cloud. That's weird. Rage. Everyone complains to me about the weather. Sure. My opponent's probably thinking that I had, you know, that I was going to have counter magic and everything, but I don't. Oh, I could have. Yeah, I mean, I. I yeah, I could have taken that expansion instead of the coil to try to just go for the win. Um, yeah, certainly could have. Why tormenting voice? Going for the... I mean, I have Ascanta, though. I'm just going for the late game. I'm just winning the late game with Ascanta. Um... I would have had to untap with Ral, you know, like, because I can't, you know, I even just hit a land drop this past turn. I wouldn't, did not have the mana for Ral, Coil, Expansion, Expansion. I was one off there. Their finale, well, like, I don't even have two mana right now. I can't Expansion to begin with, but their their finale was CMC4. Night Owl! I have just Thanks, I reset there, Night Owl. All right, Phoenix takes out Narset. I still have much to learn. That Narset did a whole lot though. And we got the backup. Yeah, of course, Zephyr, go ahead. Oh, 
fury will only lead you astray. Hey, Prevor. Those who cannot perceive beyond the veil of reality are lost. When a storm sea washes the dead ashore, super gross and not my fault. Why aren't I down taking Narset? Uh, moving Narset from f five loyalty to three means it dies to Arc Light Phoenix and Lightning Strike immediately, and I don't want it to just to die to Arc, Arc Light Phoenix or Lightning Strike immediately. I think it's a really valuable card to have out in play in this matchup. Just wait a moment. I'm not that card hungry. Well, found some lands. Hmm. Definitely feels like my opponent has Spell Pierce. Hmm. Yes, yeah. even I, I make errors. This. Sixteen. Put thoughtfulness before action. You can bury your crimes. But your past always comes back to haunt you. All right, so we know all four of those are lands. It's a lot of lands on the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So the bottom eleven cards are all lands. It's a lot of those. Come on, breathe through it. Uh, yeah, keep that. Hmm. For every action, there's a reaction, and you are not going to like this one. So I feel like one of these is going to get countered. But I think that's also just fine if one gets countered. Hoping they both don't get countered, yeah. Definitely called him for the spell pierce.
All right, we're all down, but like, you know, we're in a great spot right now. I'm down to, you know, just the two cards. I have a ton, plus I have this explosion that I could protect with a veto. Yeah. Just playing the long game there. Basically didn't need to try to go for combo or anything. Really shut him down with just having Narset in play for so long. Oh, a couple of things. Let's change this. Is there a Ral over here? There's Ral. Let's see what you got. All right, now we're gonna even do it better. Plus, with us hitting that sub goal a little bit ago, let's crack a pack. I'm getting really close to being out of rares to open up in War of the Spark. So, you know, we want to open Mythics. Cause there's there's only like three rares left or something like that. I was looking at the collection. So, so hope for a mythic. Rare. Okay. So pretty soon we're not going to be buying War of the Spark booster packs anymore. Pretty soon. Could you not full control and only do a one damage explosion to keep expansion and veto up? We could, but our opponent could also just let it resolve. You can't expansion a one... You cannot, like, use expansion to copy a one damage explosion. Because one damage explosion... Um, has... Uh, is 5 CMC, so you don't get to copy it. So you'd have to, like have like they would have to spell pierce it for some reason or whatever and then you veto but then but then expansion doesn't yeah you don't even get to like combo off with expansion anyway Find us pretty nice, but we're gonna just try to make these land or elves do as little as possible. Ooh, a battle! No hungry, or it might just be static. You like the gauntlets? Built them myself. Don't worry, I got this. Please no, Nissa. Oh, dang it! I protect that card's so good. Protect itself. Harness the elements. Should have seen that coming. Back to the drawing board. Hmm. Yep, yeah, back to the drawing board. Right on schedule. I've got time. All right, where's our Clarions? Or Teferi, Big Teferi, to tuck this Nis Nissa. Would you like to see what sometimes rest? Oh, not dead yet. These five mana planeswalkers are so good. Yeah, the Golgari land destruction deck is pretty sweet. Now 
what? I don't know. I got nothing. So I need to just kill the forest? Oh, it's too late. You can't... Can't retarget. Not bad. For a mouse. I guess I'm dead. I guess I need to target the forest. Come to think of it. Because I was like, well, even if I go to 8, I can Clarion. All right, take eight, go to two. I can clarry on, but then the the new the Nissa is still gonna kill the next thing. Hmm. Need to draw a little Teferi to instant speed the Clarion. Non-land permanent. Well, I guess I bounce Nissa. Hope they don't have a land drop. Basically need to just brick on land drops for a little while. Um, if I have a creature that says, sack this creature, reshuffle your graveyard into your library, would the creature be reshuffled too? Yeah, yes, I would think so. Yeah, yeah, it would. Because this, the sack this creature is part of the cost, is like the cost for your ability. You would do that, that ability would go in the stack, and the opponent could like respond and stuff, and then the other part would resolve. So yes, it would. All right, so uh, Nissa, Vivian, those are going to be the hard things to beat. Let's play all these Dovin's Vetoes, play this Teferi to talk, play this extra Clarion. Um, I want less Narset. Yeah, they don't really draw multiple cards a turn. I'm just going to be attacking Narset. We'll take out Narset. The problem with Ixalan's Binding, like, I'm not going to play Ixalan's Binding for Nissa here, because the problem is they have a lot of enchantment removal between uh, Vivian, Assassin's Trophy, Casualties of War, all that kind of stuff. They have a lot of ways to destroy enchantments, and so, no, I'm not playing. Um... Maybe I don't actually really want Time Raveler either, actually. What if we just play Coil? Or Nova? Instead. It's not like they need to play instant speed things. I can't really, you know, I struggle protecting Time Raveler. Also, just ditch both of those three Mana Planeswalkers, which therefore means I should probably be getting rid of Sarkin as well, to be honest. Yeah, 
Yep, I want land. Well, I, I am glad this is Cleansing Nova, not Teferi. This little Teferi is super bad against Thorn Lieutenant. I mean, I would just be playing little Teferi and ticking up, basically, and just use it, using it as a life gain spell. So this can help out more. Planeswalker, genius inventor? I got it all. <laughs> yeah, as far as last game, correct. Yeah, we we could not bl blink of an eye a land because it says non-land permanent, and those are still lands. I need to make sure this doesn't happen again. I know. Keep up the pace. Go, Teferi, go. I'm getting too old for this. We need to move quickly. Hmm. Certainly considering just casting Explosion. But I already do have a lot of cards in hand. But, you know, we could have shocked in and, and, like, at end step, whenever we have the untapped trigger, I could have Explosion for five there at end step. I figured we didn't really need to draw five cards. Time. Do I want to play one right now as a draw two? No. I don't know, maybe I should have just thrown out an explosion like the previous turn just to draw two. Like whenever I play, even when I played the Ascanta, I could still just draw two. Um, you know, see if we hit a land drop, get a sixth card in the graveyard for Ascanta. Every f Let's do this again. Thy will comes. How could I have lost? Oh, no, 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 I meant Graveyard. <laughs> Dang it. I meant Graveyard Flip Ascanta. Oh, well. Oh, well, that, that's a good card to have, anyway. I'll be back, just like before. All right, looking for a Ral. Magnificent world. Harness the elements.
This is going to be tough, honestly. Okay. That's a good one. Nothing tucks. We saw some other ones go to the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle. Well, I guess I have to shuffle. Field of Ruin is a must. Hey, Radical Guru. Good evening. Rise, my elemental friend. Well, really glad I have Cleansing Nova instead of Little Teferi about now. I can no longer stand by and reverse. I can no, I can no longer stand by and reverse. All right, just need a Rowl. We can pull off this combo. Only time will tell. Inglewood Jax, thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. So certainly considered... Uh, considered expansioning that. But let's see. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So right now, explosion is for eight. Let's do it. All right, on the draw, let's definitely get another Cleansing Nova in here. That card was pretty clutch. Um, speaking of clutch, I don't think I actually want Lava Coils. Don't really see anything there that like, I really want to Lava Coil. Let's get rid of those. Uh, Dawnbringer is good against everything except for Vivian. I guess Trophy and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I gotta play two of these cards. I don't really want Sarkin. Hmm. Alright, I don't necessarily want any any of these cards. They're like they all have their flaws. Which one? Uh, our opponent just missed a lot of land drops, but then they also like activated Nissa a few times, then we blew up the things they activated Nissa for. Um, yeah, I guess, I guess Lyra and Sarkin, that's just so many fives now. Yeah, let's, let's play some Narsets, actually. 
I'm in there with some for some Narsets. Give me some more cards. Even if I don't protect it. Let's go two Narsets and a Sarkin. Let's do that. Let's replace the Lava Coils for Narsets. What's up, 619? <laughs> Rude. I had to draw the Teferi right before the duress. <laughs> Interesting. Taking the opt. Crucible is awesome here, um, you know, with Field of Ruin and everything. That Crucible is awesome. I didn't, I didn't have any. I was even look at that. Like the only thing I had to to get rid of Crucible is the Ixalan's Binding, really, and Ixalan's Binding is just too weak in this matchup. Yeah, Field of Ruin Crucible is awesome. I mean, I've, I've done, done this to opponents so many times, I can't complain. I have to, like, I, I have to hit this land drop and have to fairy talk Crucible. And then I don't know what I'm doing after that. Or, like, how, like, I, I need to draw, like, a Dovin's Veto to counter the Crucible on the way back. Kind of thing. Okay, okay. Um, that's not a land, though. It's the problem. Yeah, I'm just gonna go graveyard. Sorry, I'm late. Yeah, I mean, I would love to keep the Cleansing Nova and be able to use that to destroy Crucible, but... Just... Not clear the war uh, that we will ever actually cast it. Time is much more malleable than people think. Jeez. I really should have seen that coming. Vito's a good one. I guess I should have flipped Ascantic to make them shuffle the Crucible if they want to, Field of Ruin it. Yeah, I should have done that. Yeah, I should have done that last turn. I was thinking, you know, I forgot about the Crucible. Uh, for basically anything else, I wanted just to keep the Ascanta there. But because of the crucible, should have done it last turn.
All right, so two Field of Ruins down. We could use some red lands. Only seen two red lands so far. It's probably a lot more in the deck still. This isn't a fight you can win. Hold that thought. Bleh. Well, Vito's a good one to draw. Don't make another move. Okay. Honestly, we're we're certainly not doing so bad. Keep up the pace. Redland. Yay. Yeah, we're certainly not doing so bad. Dovin's vetoes were clutch. No time for a break. My prowess meditate and prepare. Ah, uh, there's a bunch of lands. Going down to the bottom. I wish I would have Narset minus and then ticked up to fairy. That's just you know, it's not like really the, the right order to do stuff, but just that's how it how that happened. We will meet again. All right, I'll take action and shuffle those lands back. Is this Command the Dread Horde? Oh, no. I forgot about Command the Dread Horde this whole time. lost so much already. I won't lose more. You can't stop nature. <laughs> you have to do better than that. I guess I was maybe just supposed to shock them. But not a seven. Hone your prowess. You may have supposed to just shock them, put them down to seven, because then, yeah, with Ral and like Sarkin, and come pretty close to killing them. Yeah. 
it could be at six right now, where no just knows the wilds like, like this I shock do. deal six. Obviously, like the Sarkin, the Sarkin could do eight up in the air. But the shock does six. The opt is a seventh. Yeah, like if I would have shocked them, we would have lethal with this rally out, but. Um, I guess I go for it here. You will feel the lick of my flame. Are you ready? Good games. Didn't think we were winning that one for a while. That was a really, really solid match. That was just a, a good, fun match. Um, always like playing against Clyde the Glide. He's a really good player. GG's. Big Teferi was so clutch there. You know, tucking the... Tucking the Crucible the first time, and then I found a counter spell for it coming back. And then after that, uh, just, you know, drawing like three cards and taking some hits. Yeah, those three Dovin's Vetoes were really nice. The third one was just kind of whatever, you know, we protected Teferi for like a turn. But the first two, super necessary. All right, two and one. We'll be playing two more matches here with Jeskai Storm Conduit. Playing five matches each. Keep this on the play. I need to make food, but I want to keep watching. Move my PC to the kitchen. You have like a phone? Yeah, you get get that Twitch app on your phone. I don't really want to play against that same deck again. That's what it looks like. Or, you know, like this could definitely be Sultai or Four Color Dread Horde or something like that. Sultai. All right, spell. Not spell. Still not spell. Still not spell. Where's spell? I like spells. Every problem has a solution. Let's start by taking you, Guild Mage, Planeswalker, Genius Inventor. I got it all. Keep this. Obviously, Jade Light's going to be just a really big problem. Bleh. If there was a Jade Light. All right, so I'll go Teferi, Tuck, Wild Growth. Nothing feels broken. Or I can go Ral minus and kill the Jade Light. I guess I just do that. I am not going to sit this one out. Let's skip to the good part. I have just the thing to take you out for good. So 
now Teferi gets trophied. Raul gets attacked. And then I have a lot more lands. Still not sure how I'm going to kill this Wild Walker yet. By not tucking it with the fairy. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. And the land comes into play untapped. Yeah, they need to do it during. They want me to draw a card first. But, uh, well, it still worked out. I train every day. Keep an open mind. A mighty warrior. I can see. You. Let us see if you're to the library. Hmm. Certainly in a rough spot. Excellent timing. Now, Scanty can do a whole lot for us, though. Not so fast. I wish they would just draw these four cards. No. Uh. Oh, I needed that card. All right, well I need to draw expansion explosion. You just let me know if you're up for round 2. That's what I need to draw is explosion. Or a shock. Yeah, we're dead. Hmm. So I think this is... We're going to have to keep all the coils in for this matchup. This is going to be tougher. I mean, honestly, this is going to be tougher than the other Golgari version. Tamiyo is incredible. Krasis is really good. Man, the Dread Horde pretty unbeatable. We need Cleansing Novas. We need Coils. We need all these Vetoes. I need this Teferi. Um, binding's a little better here, honestly, because Binding, even at, like even even though they have like a couple of trophies, they don't have very many. Let's get rid of the Narsets and Teferis again. Well, this Teferi is actually going to be better here because of Wild Growth Walker. But like this, just hitting Wild Growth Walker or hitting Krasis is nice. I feel like Clarion may be too small. Maybe I get rid of Shocks. I don't usually cut Shocks. I think I am going to here. All right, this looks reasonable. <laughs> Farmville 2.0. Yeah, Clarion's not so good. I should have trimmed a Clarion over something. Yeah, I probably should have taken out one Clarion. It can be... Uh, We 
with um it's still like important to have the sweeper i think though like with oh i need i need a shock land with um with both expansion and Rowl, it's pretty easy to copy Clarion and make it so Clarion can kill like Wild Growth plus a bunch of things, for example. So I was worried about like protecting Narset. But I guess if we think about it, Narset does. You know, like with them having, uh... I am not going to this. sorry, um, with them having like Krasis, like Narset does keep them from drawing all those cards a turn. Hey, that was uncalled for. Yeah, that was uncalled for. Yep, there's Jade Light. I'll just go ahead and... I, th I think I want a Coil plus Expansion here. Keep it on top. Keep it on top. Or maybe just Clarion. Yeah, may I, I guess I just Clarion. Because I want to keep Explosion. The, the thing that Expansion plus Coil does is it gets these out of here for good. Um... So we don't have to worry about a command the dread horde bringing them back. Let's try this. Hey boop. Use the Clarion though. We're a long ways away from Command the Dread Horden right now. Well, not that not that long. I am Pavio. Let me aid your research. Just four lands. I'll protect you. Our time together is finished. Ixalan's binding is pretty sweet with Teferi. Like, let's say we binding to Krasis, or, you know, just any, you know, like, Conclave Tribunal would be a better example, but, you know, like, something like that. Um, get rid of, like, a Krasis, and then you use your Teferi to bounce your enchantment again to find something else be pretty sweet oh I've done the hero thing before yeah we, we've only comboed one time Enough. in this league so far in these three matches. Hasn't happened too often. Dang. I'm getting too old for this. Yeah, Branch Walker, Jade Light are like the only thing to actually command if they have command. This might 
be a bad idea. Do you want me to phase you out of time? So many lands. We got all of them over here. So I can't cast Cleansing Nova now instant speed because of that this Teferi. Is a fight you can win. So I'll just Nova here. No, I am not making this up as I go. I guess I can't really Nova and Binding, so I guess I'm going to coil the Jade Light and Binding. Definitely want a Binding Tamiyo again. They should they should probably be minusing the Tamiyo. They're going to go grab Assassin's Trophy. The storied past holds our future. Gosh, just more lands for us. Even more lands. I don't think I can win. Like I can't I can't be negate from here. Okay, I can't be negate Tamio. All right, two and two. One more match here. Command the Dread Horde, pretty good, pretty good. Better than my all my lands. My deck didn't really look that impressive either of those games, but that's because you know we just had a ton of lands. Oh. Well then. Yeah, they yeah, these are all decks I put together, Dash. The R means we're playing the deck in ranked. The R over here means. I have practiced against many foes. I have just the trick for this. We have been getting destroyed the last little while. Last few games. Okay. One of the best cards I could possibly draw right there. That's Kanta. It's a great one. Put thoughtfulness before action. Good. And NRR, glad you're enjoying that Azorius Singleton deck. Cool. Slow 
All right, so I've got that as Kanta out of there. My opponent can't cast instance now. You, you cannot, yeah, if you kick Blink of an Eye during your own turn, you do not draw a card with Narset out there because you've already drawn a card for a turn with your draw step. If you do it on your opponent's turn, you can still draw the card. Well, it doesn't really make sense to blink anything. Slowing them down. What's what's the reason to plus first? No, I am not making this up as I go. <laughs> this is very inefficient. No, we are quite certainly dead. Only time will tell. Forgot to say no tomatoes. Thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel. The focus meditate. Do you ever play and Phoenix play. on stream? I could use some guidance. Uh no, not real no. Like the blue red Phoenix deck. Have not. All right, well, they have Ascanta and Big Teferi with Counter Spell plus Elder Spell. That'll do it for me. Holy Day! Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel. All right, another Narset. All these Dovin's Vetoes. And Teferi, and Cutting, Clarion, and Coil, and... It's got this stupid blink of an eye. That card... I feel like I need to just take that out of the deck. The card's not been impressive in the slightest. That card's been pretty bad for us. I don't really know what I, exactly what I want to replace it with. If I want to play like the fourth Clarion in the main, if I want to play a Cleansing Nova in the main, do I want to play a third Lava Coil? Honestly, maybe I should just be playing main deck Dovin's Veto. Card's just good against everything. Yeah, I should probably just have a Dovin's Veto in the main. <laughs> Farm Simulator Jess Guy. Yeah, this is a Ralph combo deck. Yep. All right, so we're going to have Ban Arcbow up next after this, and then we have a donation deck uh, from Joyve. I don't know what our what the deck is yet. We got a couple more decks after this still. Got about three and a half hours ish left in the stream. Now, Mar Mariah Conjecture has never really seen that much play, but yeah, it's basically been non existent ever since Mortify. But it was never really big to begin with. 
How does this deck work? Uh, it's basically just a Jeskai control deck. Um, it does have a combo finish with um, Rao Storm Conduit in play and then casting two expansions and continuing to copy the first expansion with the second. You can just do, copy it infinitely and um, deal enough damage to the opponent to kill them. <laughs> Danger only makes field research more interesting. <laughs> you win some, you lose some, then you repeat the experiment. You know what? I'm not done yet. They have a little better Planeswalker removal than what we have. And they have discard. Let's slow this down. I'm not ready for this quite yet. Oh, that's fairy bag. Uh, not that's fairy. This is hardly my worst defeat. That was efficient. Maybe draw a Dovin's veto here. Not bad. All right. To fairy battles. Yeah, that was a really quick scoop there, but I guess if our opponent's hand was nothing. You know, we have Ascanta and to fairy. You know, so assuming they had nothing, and it's really tough to overcome Ascanta and to fairy. Like basically every hand in Magic, this would be better on the play instead of on the draw. Because on the play, whenever like I would already have two mana out, and they would Thought Erasure me like this, and then I would be able to expansion the Thought Erasure and Thought Erasure them back. Uh, but being on the draw, we are unable to do that. Stand by and watch. Here we go. No more lands, deck. I need spells. I know my responsibility. I need spells. Let's try this. Or more lands. <laughs> oh, I've done the hero thing there's, before. There's no cue. TT uh, for donation decks. All you have to do is just tell me what day, you know, besides like usually, besides just the current day, um, just tell me what other day you want me to play the deck and what time slot, first, second, third, or fourth, whenever you donate, and you'll be good to go. Um, yeah. I don't have, like right now, I don't have a single donation deck in the queue. So, because I, I do them like right away. Uh, you 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 resubbed like a two days ago, but it just has that notification up there. Okay. Sometimes yeah, sometimes it just has like that notification up there. So yeah, you just had to get rid of that notification. Yeah, and sometimes those notifications double up, and I I don't know exactly why. 
But thanks again, Holes. Cool, yeah, we're going to be playing Band Arcbow after this. Uh, uh, after this match. After this game. This is game three. So we're doing five five matches with each. So hopefully we'll be three and two and not two and three. Oh, right. Oh, gosh, TT. I'm so, yeah, I'm so sorry about that. Yeah, because I missed, yeah, because I didn't stream yesterday. TT, I don't know why I didn't have, yeah, you had your Naya Gods there. I don't know why I didn't write it down, and then I, I just forgot about it because I didn't write it down. I'm so sorry about that. All right. Um. I'll protect you. <laughs> you ready to throw down the gauntlet? I am. All right. So yeah, I can play the Naya Gods instead of the Ban Arcbow. Many things. Is this just going to be Elder Spell? I really hope not. Yep, it is. I guess there's no way to ruin what just happened. I've got it. Elder Spell's a killer there. Got time. Uh, the fourth slot is just a donation deck from Joyve. I don't know what the deck is right now. I know we need to move quickly. Probably do it. You know what? I'm not done yet. Don't worry, I got this. Shock is good against Planeswalkers, but not nearly as good as Elder Spell is, as we have seen here. This is hardly my worst defeat. Our opponent cast that other as Cantus so that they could they could Keep flip the, pace. the first one. I don't I don't think that's a very good play, but like, I just don't think that's very necessary. But uh, that's that's the point of casting the two as Cantus.
All right, two and three again. <laughs> I, I don't think that was why we lost. Um, our opponent could also just put the top card in the graveyard to flip the Scanta. Also, anyway, let's see. Our deck definitely played better the other day than, than today. Um, I think... I think overall, like, Blink of an Eye was the card that I really just wasn't impressed with at all. I think that that, that can go for, like, a Dovin's Veto in the, in the main deck. And honestly, I don't think that this Sarkin is necessary. I think the Sarkin can go also. Um... How do we stop Elder Spell? Because just three Teferi's just better than two Teferi's in a Sarkin. Maybe not. Maybe we keep the Sarkin. That does free up a, a sideboard slot for something. They could be kind of anything. Um, they can kind of have anything in the sideboard. I think I'll put in... They're going to put this Ugin back in over here. That I took out previously. You know, that would have been a really nice card to have access to. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm going to do that little update for next time. Um, all right, so that's Just Guy Storm Condo. We got to combo a little bit there, um, but uh, struggled against the discard heavy decks, like the 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 blue black decks. You know, with decks with discard and counter magic and, and card advantage and um, command the dread horde and things like that. So we kind of struggled a little bit against those. Uh, it didn't draw particularly well with our losses, which that's usually makes sense. Whenever you're not drawing well, you're losing the games. That makes sense there. So a lot of those games that we were losing, we just had lots of lands and not really spells. But that's okay. That's magic. All right, so that's Just Guy Storm Conduit. So if you're watching this video later on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed it and... Uh, please hit the like button over there. I'd appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching. Just Guy Storm Conduit, and I hope to see you for another video.